cave dweller, I was meeting a local director for my favorite my favorite theater company in Milwaukee, Quasimondo, and uh, he was pitching a new play for me. When I walked in and he looked at me, he's like, whoa, I like your new look. My old look was suit and tie. I was wearing a, ja a tweed jacket and a tie, usually mismatched. And he's like, I like your new look, kind of working men's shaman. And uh, it was during the work day and I was wearing uh, work pants and a sweater, a uh, woolly pulley, black woolly pulley. And I'm like, how could you tell? That's, I mean, I coincidentally, I'm, I'm on a like a journey into mysticism, Andean mysticism. And he's like, what's that? And I had to explain it. And I, I, it was like a mystery to me how he could tell that I was taking this mystical turn. But I was wearing a mala around my wrist and a crystal around my neck and three rings. I had three rings on, each one with a stone in it. And I just, I wasn't trying to look like a shaman or look mystical or even, uh, I don't know, I wasn't trying to do or be anything with this stuff. I just loved it. I just loved this extra jewelry. I just, it's just because I love these beautiful things. I love being beautiful and seeing beauty and surrounding myself with beauty, which is in some ways uh, emasculating and um, androgynous almost because men aren't beautiful. Men aren't supposed to be beautiful. But since then, I've tried to turn it, tone it down because it's the response people have where they have suddenly outside myself. I put myself outside the norm of acceptability. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> working man's shaman. That's me. Working man's shaman. Even though there's no way I could possibly be a shaman. Don't call me when you need to shamanize yourself. Call a professional. It, uh, it, it, uh, it.